Welcome to the ULI Podcast. You caught us on a rare rainy day in Bakersfield, California. Most of us in Bakersfield, California. Uh, I'm Brian. That's your favorite pothead, Sir D's. Your nigga, Maury. <laughs> and, <laughs> and this Chris. And like any other week, we back ready to kick that shit, ready to have a good time, talk about these week's stories. All that stuff with the one ma- uh, minor little difference here on this platform. We're going to call you out if we smell some BS. All right? So we got the ULI call outs that happen throughout the show. Any call out comes with the punishment. That's the shots. Everybody, what we drinking on? You know, I still got the absolute. We on the Zoom today. We ought to say that too. We on the Zoom today because COVID struck again. Say the Jerry. Bang. I'm on the, uh, the absolute. I'm the only one sipping dark, huh? Hold on, man. I got to mm. hold on, man. <laughs> we got we got the I'm, shot. I'm we holding got, it down for the brown. The ten dollar cash app and the dreaded, well, not so dreaded push ups. And yeah, I, I dark. That's uh, usually got me chilling if I get on the dark. I got went for the turn up because I was feeling sleepy before we logged on. Uh, Kentucky uh, whiskey, man. That's the uh, Kentucky uh, Reserve yeah. bourbon. Yeah, yeah, you got yeah, some whiskey, it's huh? Cool. It's cool, ain't bad. I know you was a whiskey okay. drinker. I ain't it went for me. That's right. when you do. That's when you do official business. You pull out some whiskey. Hey, we some scotch. Business that part. Hey, we yeah. some business niggas, man. Some scotch. You feel me? You feel me? Next time we on official business, we gotta do some dog. Huh. Hey, for the for the setup too, we need to get some of those crystal bottle uh, alcohol holders that they be having on them shows, where the rich niggas be having their liquor poured in it already. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Like the, the see-through ones that like they have in offices. And yeah, stuff. come over. Let me talk to you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Stare out the window and tell you you fired. No, we ain't got to worry about branding or nothing. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. Just have some. Huh. some That's real regal. That's some regal shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, shoot. Let's get right into this action. Then, come on. Well, uh. Damn it, man! I was late today. God damn it! Yeah, okay, address it. Late, man. I'm gonna go ahead. And just, I'm gonna pull up for you. Know, pull up one time now. <laughs> Got nudy, and you know how I usually do. I might take all night to take this one shot. I mean, mm. You might get some more. You ah. ah. <laughs> take too long. Like, a little, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, I found I seen this. Uh, it was on a sports. Thing. I seen it on ESPN. I think the first time I seen it, uh, a high school basketball league, and they can they can make money off this this league. Uh, I'm gonna read the, the like you the, said. You said just a high school basketball league, but you ain't say who's, who's no, running I'm, the yeah. who's running said league. I'm gonna I'm gonna read a, a little break it down then. Uh, they will be starting a professional basketball league that will offer high school basketball players an alternative uh, way to college and in preparation for the NBA. Overtime elite will begin. I guess or oh, that's that's guess overtime uh, elite. Overtime elite will begin in September 21 this year and will feature 30 of the nation's top. Uh, prospects from age 16 to 18. The athletes will be given a, guar- a guaranteed minimum salary of $100,000 in addition to bonuses and wow. uh, equity in the league. The league's athletes will also have... They give it, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you move on, you said equity in the league? They're giving out equity, equity in the league? In the league? Yeah. And, the, and the league is the NBA, right? National Basketball Association? Um, I'm guessing the... This, this not, some, not some off-brand league. Not, not Master P now. Is it uh, yeah, uh, the athletes will be given guaranteed minimum salary of one hundred thousand dollars. That's in addition right. to bonuses and equity in the league. I'm guessing right, the, this, this league that they they got uh, started up. The league's athletes will also have access to health care, disability benefits. If an overtime elite athlete chooses not to pursue an NBA career, the league will pay them up to hundred grand to go towards college tuition. So if you don't want to be in the league, they'll give you hundred grand to go to college and figure it out like yeah. that. So I found that real interesting. Yeah, that's that's groundbreaking. I, mean, I played high school ball. <laughs> I mean, damn it, I wish they had. Even though I would do. So can I ask? Be in this league. Can I ask some questions that I don't know? You may not be able to answer based off what you may or may not know. But is this this is a traveling kind of league? Not like high schools, but high school kids, right? Yeah, this, it's, this, not, this, it's yeah. not like BHS and Ridgeview can submit their team. <clears throat> oh no, this is like a traveling, like the top. Like a traveling. Yeah, it's like top prospects in the league. Or like AAU ball. Yeah, or, AAU. Or you you like got that. that kind of talent on you. Yeah, you're a professional. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely uh, probably try to get in this league, and you get hundred k. My next know, question would be so like, how, do, how does child labor laws play? See that they probably have to go through their parents. Well, at sixteen, you can have a job. Legally. Yeah, that's true. You can only work a certain amount, though. That's like yeah, a certain amount of hours. Yeah, finesse involved in that. Mm-hmm. 
a certain amount of hours. Yeah, and now, the, and out, there's no yeah. cap on the money. Mm-hmm. No cap on the money. No, no cap no. on the money. No, no, you can make, but, you can uh, make money. It's it, yeah. This seems like one of those things, though. You won't be able to play regular high school basketball if you are on this team. Yeah, if you or if, if you, you join this program. League, if you're doing this league, you're not playing regular high school. This now you're getting paid. Now this is a a business, damn near. There will be no point. So I'm you saying know. you can't play. <laughs> there be no. Oh, point. Yeah, you can't you, play high school or college if you win this league. Mm. Yeah. yeah. There, there, but there, again, there would be no point for you to. No, because you making you making bread, man. I ain't gonna try to go high school or college. Or high so school after or that, college. You just go straight to the league. That's what it's, it's a funneling place for. Yeah. Those are for, for players like Lamelo Ball, because this is you yeah. know where this is coming from. This is Levar Ball yeah. all over. Oh, yeah. Levar Ball oh, yeah. did this. He mm-hmm. was paying he was paying kids. I think like three thousand uh, dollars, and that was I thought it was cool. Three thousand a month. I mean, oh, they, no, no he, NBA he though. Thousand a month. I believe it was three thousand. Ah, you a lie. <laughs> Already, <laughs> I believe it was three thousand. <laughs> Uh, one, one to three thousand, somewhere in there. But since I said three, I, I was, I'll stand on that. Yeah, go ahead I, I tried to fluff him up a little bit. Yeah, I had no idea what the numbers. Were. But do you think that's a cool catch, though? Like a trade off to forfeit being able to play for any high school or college? Yeah, if, if, change if your you, mind later. Yeah, if you a if you a top high school baller out here, top hundred or whatever, you damn near destined, not destined, but you gonna have a good shot at getting to the league or. Uh, some kind of uh, you got eyes on you. You got yeah, eyes on you. Yeah, but what if you want to play for a certain college? What if that's your dream? You want to play for a certain oh, college? Well, you can, you're not doing this. Program. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't you ain't trying to make money off your game. You trying to play for a college? For a college. Like, this, yeah. this is getting you ready for the dream. The dream is to play in the NBA and to be a star. Yeah. That. Yeah. Well, Brian, will Brian they, go ahead. Go ahead. Will they ever have uh, somebody who's so good again that they'll just let them come straight out of high school? Oh yeah, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. Lamelo, so. Lamelo was, was like, good yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, Zion was good enough. Zion was yeah. He could have definitely went top five out of high school easy. And this is for the, if you sixteen and you a top, but they don't top, let you go straight from high school to to the league right now, do they? All right, and more. This sorry, sorry. I, I got didn't, the answer for LeBron him. did, didn't he? Yeah, That's, they had stopped it then. For the answer for the mm-hmm. ULI, what was the the parameters? What you what you want? Uh, we can do the uh, shoot, we can't really see the no, okay. Well, get your money ready. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> they said he was funding the Junior Basketball Association through the Big Baller brand back in 2017, and players were being paid from 3,000 to 10,000 per month. 3,000 to 10,000 per month, huh? Per month, uh. that's that's bleacher, <laughs> that's bleacher report. Cha-ching! He was chipping them off. I thought like it was. And it was based off how much you could sell. So if you had like your, your jersey sell, sold or whatever merch you sold, uh-huh. if that was pushed and you sold a lot, you would get a percentage of that. So you could have a chance to make some real money. Makes sense. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. At least for a high schooler. You gave me 3000 in high school a month, man. You couldn't tell me nothing. Oh. Not a word you could tell me. Yeah. Let alone, let alone the $100,000 that this dude might give you for the- Oh yeah, the hundred? Oh yeah, ain't none of that. You live in my house, you do what I say. Like, what? Who? I got the juice. Man. I paid these lights. I turn them all on. I give up. Oh man. Grounded? You want me to take your allowance? Oh, yeah, yeah I'd be hard. Yeah, I'd be hard to live with. I'm up so, all so, night. So, so, so for resolution though, uh, looks like you lost that one, cut. Oh yeah, that's that's money coming my way. That's the uh, way the bag, or you can get the sale. <laughs> however you want to do it. But I, I feel like they totally jacked that idea from him. Mm-hmm. Like Lamelo, Lamelo Loki can has the ability and and the, the charis the charisma to be face of the league in a few years, especially if he mm-hmm. stays on this trajectory. He took a whole established starter's job his rookie year in a matter of weeks. He took Terry Rozier's whole job. He was like, "You can go to the bench now. I'm here. I'm doing." Oh, my Terry's thing. on the bench now. Yeah, he comes off the bench. You go. You gonna try me again, bro? Terry's off the bench. You gonna try me that. again, bro? I ain't say nothing right now, man. I ain't jumping today. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't jumping right now. I jumped enough. He, he took him. He, he took his spot, man. He, he well, said, yeah, man. He and Terry can ball too. It, average twenty. 18, Terry 20, ball. something like that. He can. He can give. Yeah. He can get numbers. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying, like Lamelo, his dad took him out of high school. Yeah. Didn't, didn't put him through the college process. He still went number three, and he's still gonna be rookie of the year. Hmm. He oh, proved yeah. that that system is, has been flawed for years. For sure. Luca. 
uh, uh, Lamella Lavar, really. I'm um, just saying, Luca too. He's also proof that that you don't have to uh, do it putting, through conventional yeah, means. Letting them play pro early is a is probably a really good idea. Yeah, because he was he was pro. How long overseas? I think he started like 16. He was a something. champ. Yeah, 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 he was a champ. Yeah, two time yeah. champ. That two-time. dude is dude is bad. Baller. Two time. I think. Well, oh. yeah. oh, yeah. you want to hear this? You know, he called you out, Brian. He called you out. What, for what? What you calling about? For the, for the shot. I keep it light because I have no idea. For the shit's out. I have no idea either. Yeah, Brian, Brian, Brian at home now. He took all the shots he needs. How <laughs> <laughs> many championships? <laughs> I count four. That's what I'm he got four rings. Two different leagues before overseas. Four, uh, four championships overseas. <laughs> ah, I'll concede that. The U L I was on two, so if it's more than two, oh, no, that was a ring. That, is that still a ring in Europe? The championships was it not championships? I don't know. I you said two championships. championships. I'll let you lose it if you want to. Go ahead. I don't feel like I won that one. Go ahead, then. <laughs> I don't feel like I want that one. That's, that's what you call integrity. <clears throat> Come on down to integrity. I was looking on Wiki, too. That was the only one I found was Wikipedia. Integrity, this is the last time I want to show this integrity at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Brian typically will fight to the end, boy. That got a little funny. Yeah, I don't know. Concession is harder with you or Trump. Here I'll put in I'll put in half the work too. It says uh players that participate in overtime elite will forfeit their eligibility to play high school or college basketball. Or because now you're professional, I think technically you could not play high school. Yeah. <coughs> they gotta, if they join this league, they, they can't play high school ball. That's basically what I'm saying. <coughs> this, the, the this is definitely a bad idea. Games have yet to be determined, but the league has some big names like uh Carmelo Anthony is a member of the uh, Overtime Elite Board of Directions, along with the uh, mm, because you know he got a son. Bulls, Jay Jay William, Williams, Dan Porter, Aaron Ryan, and Zach Weiner. Weiner. Uh, he said uh, Anthony believes that the league can be a huge benefit to young players, which it, it definitely can be. Definitely help out the families that's struggling in, in them kind of uh, situations. Get gets a hundred k. But for a 16 year old to get 100K, yeah. man, that's a hundred K, that could be a lot of pressure too. Bro, that's mm-hmm. big because think of most of that's probably going to be for helping their families. And yeah, shit. exactly. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and most of them are probably going to be people of color that are that good, that young. Yes. Mm-hmm. And most of that's, them, that's probably going to be the most money that family has brought in in a year for sure. Oh, yeah. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Them niggas will be that's doing good. better than me. So it's just, uh, <laughs> it's, it sounds like it's kind of two sides. Is this, you think this could be too much? It's kind of. The way we cut, you don't think this might be too much for these kids? No, no, nah? it, it uh, could be. It, could it depends be. on if they're free to manage their own money, then it could be too much. Money, yeah, but if there's a strategic way of paying them out, yeah. and think, like financial <laughs> literacy courses that come with it and shit, like but you don't want kids just, showing up to high school in a Ferrari, right? And just accept yeah, the move, brother. Yeah. That's the move. <laughs> no, that ain't the move. Yeah, there, there, like there'll be more to it. Stuff. Yeah, I think there will be. Yeah, it too. could be beneficial if there's more steps. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I, I, I do think that that college system is kind of played out. Let's be real; we've been we've been funneling a lot of talent uh, to these to these colleges that just want to collect a little revenue off them. They refuse to pay them for all these years. You know, mm-hmm. put up resistance when they finally started getting some legislature in there to get them paid. Like they ain't they ain't wanted to bend on that fact, and these kids nowadays is getting a little wiser. They they realizing mm-hmm. what they have to that, what their value is. Mm-hmm. You know, they're not gonna let mm-hmm. you go play for any old body and let you make billions of dollars while you tell me me getting a couple dollars from my family yeah. is gonna throw everything yeah. away. You know, uh-huh. so right. I, I love it really. And I, I love it. I want to give a lot of credit to Levar Ball too. And my and my final thought because that's totally his idea. Yeah, yeah, and not only that because I think. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, uh, 
with that, it's become more now Got to new. the with the college the yes, the yes, college yes. line. You know, I took that shot. Once you get up <laughs> in there, he <laughs> still took that shot. <laughs> that nigga here. <laughs> See? <laughs> Ooh, Brian. Ooh, Ooh, it's the Patron all over again. That, that was nasty. Oh, See? Y'all in pain. But uh, I was saying in the... Oh, God. Oh, no. 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 Look at that, Brian got me laughing at shit. Oh. Uh, <laughs> look at Brian messed me up. <laughs> oh, well, sorry, Sherman. <laughs> that was just straight up alcohol right there. There's nothing Ooh. else. Oh, it, uh, oh, hell no. Oof. Taking some uh, rubbing, rubbing alcohol. Man, basically. Oof. Oof. All right. He's in the middle of a whole point, Sherman. My bad. Yeah, sorry. No, I was just saying that. Uh, Piggybacking off of you, as far as the the college uh, funnel thing, once you start getting into it, it becomes less about even the talent or the basketball. It becomes more politics, who you know, who you connected to, whether you get scouted or whether you go to the league or, you know, that kind of stuff mm-hmm. come into play. So I think that's a good, really good uh, alternative route to dealing with that because a lot of those players get screwed once they go through the college route. Mm. So. All right, so my topic is more of a conversation than really uh, something that we've seen, but it is happening in my in my life is why I wanted to bring it to the fellas and, and talk about it. We kind of hit on it a little bit earlier in uh, our episodes, you know, look at that episode right there. Uh, but we talked about uh, the vaccines and if we were taking them, is it a good idea? Can we trust them? Uh, all these things. So here we are in March 2021. And vaccines are, you know, starting to open the country back up now, right? So they're saying if you got the vaccines, you can take your mask off. You don't have to uh, social distance and all this kind of stuff. And I'm, I'm going back to work. I work at a school. But other people who are vaccinated. Yeah. So they come, they're like, I'm about to be around people. So. I'm thinking maybe I really might need to look at. So I've been researching, man. I've been I've been a little a little worried because it's the unknown, right? So I wanted to mm-hmm. get y'all's uh, opinions on these vaccines so I can make my decision as mm-hmm. I weigh taking this mystery shot of, <laughs> of vaccine, <laughs> yeah, uh, so I can go back to work comfortably <laughs> and even go to Cancun comfortably. Mm-hmm. You know, all these kind of things weigh into these de- decisions. But but how how do y'all feel on on the vaccine? I ain't, I ain't fucking with them. You ain't fucking with it, period. Man. I ain't getting no vaccine, bro. <laughs> I'm not doing it. We don't know the long-term effects of not now one of these things. Uh, man, look, uh, I just don't agree. It, I mean, I think at some point, we might be forced, if you want to travel out of the country, to get to get the vaccine. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm trying to her to do, do, do Cancun real quick before that happened. <clears throat> but... uh. Because even getting forced is, is kind of problematic, right? It like is, you're forcing yeah, yeah. me to take yeah. it? What? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? It should, it should be treated like the, 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 the flu. The flu we get, if you choose to get one every year. I ain't got a flu shot in like 10 years. So I ain't got I've a never flu had. shot. Yeah, I've yeah. Never so had I'm not. And I know people that got the I know people that got the vaccine got both uh shots. Mm-hmm. And they felt I, like they said it was wor- it was just, just like you getting it, basically. Really? Yeah, it's like I got people shot. that that I that I trust in my life. You know, people I go to for advice that have gotten gotten the, the shots, and you know, they haven't gotten any, hadn't had any effects, and things are going effects. off. Yeah, you know, they I mean, even we didn't saw know. we saw Tanisha deal with some of the side effects of the shots <laughs> when we was over there. Did she? And she was she was down for a minute. Was she from the was the second shot, Brian? Hmm, I don't remember. I remember her first shot. Uh, she had um, uh, her arm was really sensitive for like. Oh, five you know, days. yeah, yeah, yeah. That I do remember. I can't remember if she went down because of her shot. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was I think the second shot. time. The second but shot. I did she said tell she her. Was feeling <laughs> like sick. Yeah. Mm. Like COVID sick or just like nauseous or. You don't yeah. remember? We was over there editing. She was like laid on the couch. She wasn't feeling good that day. I remember her arm hurt. She didn't even go to work. Mm. Remember she didn't go to work? I don't recall. Well, uh, 
I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna it just had me worried. You gonna get it for sure? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna get it. I w- had an appointment. I, not a today. mandate, but the, your personal choice. Not mandated or anything. Yeah, I'm gonna make an appointment. I had <clears throat> I had an appointment to get one my first shot on Sunday, but I didn't get it because you know we yeah. had this b- while we're having this Zoom conference in the first place. Yeah. You know, my son tested positive for COVID, so. Like, yeah, well, I, just in case I'm infected, I didn't want to also, you know, have the the virus mm-hmm. too. Yeah. So yeah, I, yeah, it had me looking them up, and you know, the CDC is saying, and, and and again, it's like, can we trust it? Can we not? Are they giving us all the information, or aren't they? They're saying there's no, there, there's been uh, no real traces back from people that died from having taken the shot or that mm-hmm. died after taking the shot. Like, there's cases of people dying. But they're saying, oh, it could have been uh, just some other condition they already had or some freak situation that happened unrelated to uh, taking the shot. And so they're not claiming it as a death related. Like there's one story in particular, this woman Mm -hmm. went went, she went and she got her second shot and she was feeling sick, kind of as you guys were describing with uh, with Tanisha. But she said she was feeling sick. And so she went to the hospital and the doctors couldn't figure out in time what exactly it was, never could pinpoint it, and she ended up passing all within four days after taking her last shot. And but oh, they never God. like they never like directly tied it to uh I got her name right here. Let me not just the vaccine. They never tied it to the vaccine, but let me give let me say who pay her respects to because I got her name here. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. I just heard uh I think I just heard something uh uh, someone was talking, I think a podcast, it was talking about uh, uh, Russia, uh, our, our uh, what you call it? Uh, Her name was Cassidy Correll. Security. Cassidy Correll. K-U-R-I-L-L. Correll. Correll? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I, I think I heard the Homeland Security is talking about being on watch from Russia, who has a disinformation campaign going on to try to get folks in America worried about taking the vaccine out here so that they could push their Russian vaccine to try to sell it to Americans. So I don't know if that's true or not, but I heard something about that. I don't trust that. the Russian vaccine no more than I would the American. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust it either. <laughs> I wouldn't trust it either at all. Mm, yeah, Russian not, nanobots. Yeah, it's not selling me <laughs> That part. Everybody becomes sleeper agents and shit. Uh, fuck that. It's for me so the biggest I'm kind of with Maury. Not at all? Not even kind of? I'm still on the, we don't know long-term effects. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to see if y'all turn into zombies first. This is right. the quickest vaccine we've ever seen pop up on the scene. You know, that, that I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know if I can trust it, but I do know if it, if yeah, it does work. And, and again, all, all signs, they're saying like out of the, out of a million uh, people that they will test with, you know, or give the vaccine to two out of five, two to five people might end up passing out of a million people. So I don't want to be one of the two or five or yeah. two or five. Right. <laughs> yeah. That, right. that puts something but foreign in my body and then it react wrong. What bothers, what's bothersome to me though, is when it comes to the case of like, for instance, cannabis and cancer and, and medicalizing marijuana to use, and combatants against other illnesses and stuff that has been going on that research has been going on for years decades Mm -hmm. even and they Mm -hmm. still haven't got to a place where they could say we does it help does it not help we don't know but the how fast this vaccine has been cranked out and being pushed it's like it makes me worry because we don't have a track record of being that productive that precise and without having hella big drawbacks like, yeah. nigga, I, I just, I don't, the last time I, I, I read them being anxious to vaccinate a bunch of niggas was when it's giving us syphilis and shit. And, mm-hmm. and that shit, I, it makes me, it makes me worry. It and then they, and then the ones, and they got like, the people they got doing, like, I don't know about Pfizer, but Johnson, I do not trust, trust Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> like, yeah, I saw that. Hmm. I was like, Johnson and Johnson? <laughs> Y'all letting Johnson Johnson make some shit for us? <laughs> like, <Baby powder? laughs> <laughs> like, like, no, man. Like, vaccine baby powder. Got a pretty big monopoly on on, on but, baby stuff. But even all of the lawsuits that they've had against them for like malpractices and shit like that, like mm-hmm. Johnson Johnson is kind of unethical, man. I ain't I ain't fooling with Johnson Johnson like that. If I'm not mistaken, they <laughs> the same people that did they that. They said you only got to take 
one of them things. Yeah, theirs is a single dose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. While, while the other two are or double dose. See, man, Josh Johnson, what you talking about, man? <laughs> I can't <laughs> like I, I'm talking right. Like uh, what you got that these niggas ain't got that make yeah. yours one and and and, and, this, and these are scientists and uh, pharmaceuticals. Yeah. Like yeah. Johnson Johnson make baby like. <laughs> <laughs> they, so I, they're a chemical cup. They do more than just babies. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, what that's I'm their, saying is they specialize. They, that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the other ones, they specialize. They do like pesticides and shit too. And they do all kind of stuff. All this stuff. Mm. But with Johnson & Johnson, mm-hmm. what what are y'all working with over here that makes y'all shit effective, more effective, or only have to take one of those that these niggas ain't fit? You know, yeah, because now I'm worried about what they what they shooting up in people. If you can get over here and make it to where you're only taking one, how y'all didn't figure that out? Yeah. So now I'm really like, oh. And which one is more that. effective, right? Like, yeah. there's a lot of questions involved in which ones you take. And then there was a race to get these out, too. So, like, now who can we trust? They didn't cut corners and yeah, cut yeah. corners. No, you know, corners was cut. You know, it was just to even get it to Nothing this point is- at this speed. I- Especially going through FDA approval and all of this stuff, nothing moves that fast, especially in America. Nope. Mm. No. Nah. Hell no. There's a lot of red tape, usually. Mm-hmm. I mean, we got HIV out here. We got Hep C, Hep B. We ain't found no cures to these motherfuckers. Uh, no, but also, no. none of them put us in a pandemic. That is true, but That's damn it. True. we a- HIV is still out here, man, killing folk. Should be a pandemic. Mm-hmm. Should be in, in especially we got in, in, in the raw dog community. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they hit a plateau with AIDS and, and HIV, where they found it was more lucrative to treat people than to cure them. Yeah, that, and that's a part of it too. There's a there's a bunch of uh, HIV medicine and all the stuff out there where you can live with AIDS now, but you got to keep on yeah. using these the their treatment. Yeah. As opposed to just having a cure and having that one-time payment. Mm-hmm. And, and unfortunately, we live in a capitalist society, so that's always has to be in the back of our mind when we come up with how these things, the, the thought process them. behind these things yeah. come out. Mm-hmm. So, Chris, you going to take the Pfizer or you going to take the uh, Moderna? What you gonna, which one are you, just, you deciding, brother? Johnson, Johnson. Do I, do I go up to it like a menu and I get to choose it? <laughs> you got to go up to it like a menu, man. You gotta... Let me get the Moderna and hold, hold Johnson. I don't want no Johnson in my hand. Hold the Johnson. <laughs> what you mean you ain't got no Pfizer? I'm going somewhere else. Y'all out the Pfizer? Oh, no. They told me y'all have Pfizer's when I called. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I waffle. Every day, the last, the last week, I've been wondering, because really the Cancun thing is like, and they told me I'm going back to work too. So, okay, man, maybe I should just go ahead and get it. And then I talked over with, with one of my coworkers and they was like, you know, you really don't know. You don't want to be one of those guys in 10 years. Now you can't have kids or, or your left nut fell off or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be on that infomercial thing. Like, oh, uh, you took, uh, if you had the Moderna. <laughs> the Moderna uh, vaccine in uh, 2021. If you already have other ones, you know. Compensation. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's one thing you never got to think, uh, think about for sure, bro. I don't know, man. You might be, you might grow a third, a third leg, nigga, by, by, by the summertime, nigga. Hey, I definitely feel like I'm getting to the to the point where I want some normalcy back, and I feel like you know, this if 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 a viable option, you know, vaccine should get us there. You know, maybe yeah. I, maybe it's me wanting that. That's why I feel mm-hmm. I waffle back and forth because you know I'm, I really want to be able to go to a concert or. You know, do some regular right. shit. Go out to eat again in a oh, restaurant. Yeah, right. and mm-hmm. Go see a movie and get some ice cream. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, and niggas not, not anti-vaxxers. Niggas not anti-vaxxers. My card is cool. I, I, I did. I my took wife, it. yeah, my too. wife is fully vaccinated, and she's just prancing around here, just la di da. No covering. I'm doing her thing. <laughs> All up in the baby room with the COVID. Completely <laughs> secure. <laughs> Completely secure. <laughs> just knows that Ryan she's got the light socks. <laughs> <laughs> right. For real. Like, Dipping the sun in, in sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> that part. I, I, I don't. Part. I don't know. Uh, please, uh, you alive fam, fact checkers, whatever y'all want to call y'all. So let us know in, mm-hmm. in, in the comments, man. Should I get the vaccine? Should should I should I go out and, and get shot in the arm with the Johnson Johnson? You know, let us let us know. Right. Or is we tripping? <laughs> Let's check the temperature, man. Because not Johnson Johnson. I want to get back to normal. I do want to get back out here. I I will say that. I do. I would love to get back to normal life. Mm -hmm.
So yeah, my topic <laughs> this week, I think a lot of people have seen it or heard of it. This uh, pastor from, I think, Missouri or Mississippi, one of them. Oh. Mm-hmm. Where are them you? states. Yeah, I think from Missouri. He from he from Missouri. I'm gonna leave it alone. Missouri. Okay. Y'all don't believe me? Don't let me second guess myself. Don't let me second guess myself. Nobody jumping off the porch. Yeah, I'm leaving alone. I'm leaving. Anyway, uh. So, so this man did a whole sermon pretty much directed at the women in the congregation on uh, giving them advice on how to keep their husband or keep a man. Let's, from, in, uh, let's insert the clip. The eye. Then I want you to know a need that a man has that he won't ever tell you about. But since I'm the preacher man, I'll say it. Your man needs an attractive wife. Well, anybody else thinks about well i shouldn't say that <laughs> your man needs a needs an attractive wife hockey player said he said i married a trophy wife but now she looks like the stanley cup you see what i'm talking about so i'm talking about all right that's what i'm talking about and, and ladies here here's the thing you need to know about men don't give him a reason to be like this distracted boyfriend you hear me don't give him a reason to be looking around. Hello? Don't do that. I've said this for a long time. I'll say it again. It's free, by the way. Is I really don't believe women understand how visual men are. I really don't. I don't think that I don't think I don't think it's in their capacity, their ability to understand how visual that men are. I really don't think women understand how important it is for a man to have a beautiful woman on his arm. It's really important to a man to do that. So here's what you want your man to say uh, when you take when you when he takes you to the Christmas party at the office. My friend may have married a trophy wife, but compared to mine, she doesn't even qualify. That's what ultimately you want your your man to say about you. To him, you should be the most beautiful woman in the room. Amen, ladies. So, okay, why is it so many times that women, after they get married, let themselves go? Why is it? Why do they do that? Here's how way too many women are. I got him now. The chase is over. Hey, that's where you're wrong. The chase ain't never over. The chase ain't never over. And by God, he don't love me the way I look now. He ought to look at his own spare tire in the mirror. Now look, I'm not saying every woman can be the epic, the epic trophy wife of all time, like Melania Trump. I'm not saying that at all. Now, most women can't be trophy wives, but you, you know, like her, maybe you're maybe a participation trophy. I don't know, but all I can say is not everybody looks like that. Amen. Not everybody looks like that, but but you don't need to look like a butch either. Hey, here's something you need to know. You need to know this. Men have a need for their women to look like women. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. And uh, the shit, the, man, I, I don't know what to think going into it, to be honest. And I just let it, I just let him play out. I listened to the whole thing. When I tell you, this dude had me looking at it like, what the fuck? I... I can't even imagine what the women in the audience was thinking. Like, you know it's 2021. Do you hear what you're saying? He went for everything from uh, not getting fat after you get married, fucking uh, preach, preach. Try to be a trophy wife like Melania Trump. He called Melania mad a couple times. So I was like, "This is standard right here." Like her, so this your queen. Be a participation trophy. I was like, "What?" He is talking about dressing. Uh, your weight or, or your age or some shit, but he was pretty much talking about how God created men to be wow. visual creatures and to be attracted to beautiful women. 
God created Adam to be attracted to Eve. Eve was a bad beezy up in the garden of Eve. <laughs> it was the so only beezy. Yeah, he, he, he didn't and, have, and, wouldn't have known no otherwise. And he was saying pretty much the reason so many men cheat is because y'all don't do enough to keep yourself looking as good as you did the day he married That's you. It. Even when as far as to say most men won't tell you this, mm-hmm. but the main reason they married you was to have sex with you. Mm-hmm. And if you don't put out, then he's going to have to decide if he's going to go get that somewhere else or be miserable for the rest of his life. And I mean, if you heard a comedian bomb where the crowd's just not really responding to his... If he was doing a, 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 com- a comic set, he might have been hit. He might have hit. He might have hit. He would have because that's how... Funny it sounded like Corey Holcomb up there, honestly. It sounded like a shit, some shit Corey Holcomb would do. It didn't sound like a... Uh, 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 a church message. And he yeah, the wrong like setting, sermon. right? And he all this while he was, so, he was up there shaped like a lowercase b, too. And yeah. All good. My nigga. <laughs> he was all... I, I, I thought I was insecure about my body shape. This nigga looked like two of me. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was not insecure about it. <laughs> he was not, not at all. <laughs> yeah, like, she he better look better. He's a marriage counselor and counseled some, uh, some people and said he told the fat one to lose weight. And she what? said she did it and saved her life. She lost 100 pounds and saved her marriage and shit. And I was like, yo. I was a bit, but it's like going Sherman, to I saw, that, uh, I saw that I post like, you put on Facebook of that big dude, that <laughs> big naked dude sitting on the beach. Oh, they oh sitting on the beach in Cancun? <laughs> 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 yeah, nigga, that's going to be me. Uh, out well, there. I'll drop that in, but, in here, too. <laughs> that's, how the, that's how the pastor looked. That's how that For pastor real. looked. Hey, For bro. real. But oh, the cringiest man. part to me, bro, was at the end, as he's wrapping it up, he got into a story about his <clears> own <throat> wife and about how his wife knows what he likes and what he's attracted to. So she has a problem because she was a hefty girl. So when she every time she got pregnant, she got bigger. And, and every time, uh, because she knows what he liked, she would join Jenny Craig after she had a baby. And he would go with her for support, not to participate. But for support, so that she would lose the weight. He said every time she the lost the weight, she away. She lost the weight, and he even said, "My wife ain't always been the bean pole she is now." And 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 all this other weird stuff. And I was just like, "Yo, is your wife in the crowd, nigga? Like, Whew. this is it was ridiculous." But a lot of people Zero online tech. wanted to cancel this nigga for all this stuff, misogyny, and you know. It's, it's Women's Month, and this is what you're oh, leading yeah. with at the beginning of the nah. month type of deal. All of like, a sudden, it's oh. Women's Month, too. Like, all of a sudden. But okay, continue. Bro, he was wild. He was wild. I would, I would put agree. it that way. He stepped down because she, he got a lot of It got a little, too, a little too hot, huh? But I, I would I would agree, though. Like, as, as a person, the bad setting, you spoke to your pastor, and it's, your words were very degrading and all that. But if we look at what he was talking about, there, there was some points he was hitting on. Like, yeah. I think men are visual learner, uh, visual people, for the most part. Like, it, we, mm-hmm. our attraction is not going to be like, ooh, her personality from afar. It's not going to be that. It's going to be like, right. oh, she's cute, she got ass, you know, her body, whatever it is, we're going to be visually attracted before we're going to be what, spiritually or emotionally attracted to someone? Mm-hmm. Like, that's far-fetched for men initially. I, I, so I, I think there are some points there. And is that, I'm not out of pocket. I think uh, Brian, Nathan, Brian looking like, no, I'm, I'm wrong. <laughs> like, I feel like we are. <clears throat> no, man, I can't I can't get with this video at all. <laughs> we, we, okay, so we're not visual <laughs> learners. We're not visual people. Pocket. We're not visual he people as men, though. Way the fuck out of pocket, man. Come on, man. He was way out of pocket. <laughs> I, give, I give you that. He was. Yo. I'm asking oh, you, are man, men visual so people? Visual. Yeah, we're visual creatures, but that was just, I mean, that was just part of his his whole... But he was going in on somebody. Rampage. He meant, that. He meant like, all that. No. Like an excuse. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was not... that That was not even, like... Contributing to any of the points that he was making, which were it wasn't really healthy bad conversation. Yeah. But there are like things there, though. Like, right? You, do you think a woman should care about her attractiveness to her man, husband? Think that's important? I think that's important. I think it's important both ways. Yeah. But a man doesn't be the only thing. No, no. And a man shouldn't pressure was- a woman, especially after a baby. I don't know. Uh, I know it comes. I'm Brian, you can test to it. A woman mm-hmm. after pregnancy. That's some. That shit is trying mm-hmm. on them mentally and <clears> physically. <throat> 
and like mm-hmm. to pressure them to get back into such a, a certain physical peak in order to meet your desires. That that's selfish as fuck. Like, yeah, that's, like, bro, that's my nigga was telling them to praise yeah. God for makeup. Where's some damn makeup? <laughs> he said, "Praise God for makeup. makeup on, bro." Yes, <laughs> bro, yeah, he was wild, on, man. man. He was on somebody. He head. was wild. Like, <laughs> he was framing it as like yeah. this is yeah. the most important thing in your marriage, though. It was it was about, a while. you know, no. the shit we talk about, <laughs> compromise or understanding or yeah. roles or anything. It wasn't about none of that. Your spirit, your personality. It was all about looks. It was yeah. all about looks, bro. It was. Completely about looks, nothing and, else. And, he and made to it his, seem like, and to his point, but only like only barely. Men, looks are more important to men. <sighs> they are, that's, they are. But he put such an emphasis on it. He framed it as an excuse for men to, to be an asshole, to, <laughs> to not be faithful, yeah. to not be faithful. Which saying you yeah. can't be mad at me because nope, well. Is that just me? No, that's everybody. Got him in, got him in mid. <laughs> More? Give me. There you go. Yeah. There, there you go. go. Wonder what happened? Hmm. Weird. Long <clears throat> <clears throat> Good. All right, we got Mori back. Oh, cool shit. Where were we? Sherman, I think. Were you making a point, Sherman? Hmm? I was just saying, dude, was already out of pocket. He was making an excuse for men. Like, it sounded like he was giving men an out, saying God made us that way, so you can't be mad at us if we cheat. Mm. So can, can, you, can you walk that line? Because I think there also is some truth to saying that a man can... Uh, lose attraction, sexual desire for their woman, and then that leads to cheating. I think that's a a thread that can be followed. Is there any truth to that? Mm. Not saying that a man should like. Yeah, but that's not how. How do you how do you have that conversation then with your other, without telling them, hey, you don't look good to me right now. <laughs> well, if it's for instance, if I was in that position, I would be encouraging them to find multiple ways to make your partner attracted to you. So that if your beauty, if you if he does start to not be as attracted to you physically, there will always be something that keeps him attracted to you, whether it's your spirit, your heart, your brain, your whatever your connection is, maybe your it's sense of humor, whatever it is, so that it's not just this one thing. Because when it's all focused on that, then yeah, that's very real. You lose attraction. You lose your connection. You don't if that's have what, a reason. If to that was your faith. marriage foundation, is what you're saying. Exactly. It was purely exactly. attraction. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with all that. And he also, to me, was missing the other half of his conversation, which was, "Hey, men, if we talking to women to do this shit, then we also need to put in some effort to make sure our women, whatever." Follows whatever, whatever. her need is, because it may not whatever be whatever her needs is. You need a it six pack. Exactly. Whatever. It may be you exactly. to make sure you're paying all the bills. You better make sure that I ain't got to worry about but him. He left, I don't have food. He to left eat. that side out completely. Yeah. So yeah. it came off really as like a one sided lecture. Like, he, and he should have stepped really out. on this shit. It seemed like he yeah. he was going through something that he could not handle publicly. Like, like yeah. that, that whatever it was was spewing out all over his sermon that day. <laughs> and that that yeah. seemed like some stuff he had <laughs> private with his wife or with a brother in law, somebody. And that stuff was spewing all out in his sermon. So, <laughs> and good I'm not lie. His presentation and he was thought funny. it was a great like idea. Means, <laughs> boy, can I get an amen? Amen. Yeah, amen. Right. <laughs> can I get an amen, amen. bro? <laughs> <laughs> Maury, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Give give us your thoughts. I think we talked good on that. Yeah. I hey, final thought it too, because we, we went for 12 minutes. Sorry, man. It was I said this dude is tripping. This dude talking about Trump's wife, and this is what how the female should look like. And right. if you go to Walmart and Target, you can't be dressed up in sweats and you gotta be looking a certain way. You can go to Walmart yeah, and like, well, this come on. And by the way, this dude is not the most in shape guy either. And not so, the most, not at all. No attraction, you like tra- like did not look good. You can't talk about someone being fit and looking good, but brother, you looking 
You looking a little crazy as hell, bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You definitely should have got struck by the lightning of God when he was over there talking all right. that. Right. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. You should have got, got, yeah, man, like, like y'all said, man, he must have been going through something that he just couldn't, he couldn't hold in. Yeah. Some at the house, For real. Was, some at the house was going going wrong, and he had a. And, and you see the video; it looked like he was pointing at somebody. In, 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 in the <laughs> this man right here. <laughs> right. Right. You know, right. He did. He, he, he lose fifty pounds. Stop looking like, like a butch. Bro, he was wild. He really, <laughs> bro, he really did. He said, "You ain't got everybody can't look like Melania." But you don't have to look like a butch either, as if that's the other end of the spectrum. Like you either look like Melania or you look like a butch. Like nigga, that's so bro, ain't no you'll never see my fat ass get up and body shame. Nobody else. Uh, what the fuck I look like? General rule of thumb, you know, don't expect nothing from nobody you can't expect from yourself. Like you don't expect right. yourself to go to the gym, hit these setups, don't expect your wife to do it. <laughs> if, if she do, cool. But if you ain't doing it, accept. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what his input would be on the flip side of that when the wife is the one with the wandering eye. Because hmm. women cheat too. It's not just men. And women want attention too. Mm-hmm. If you if you think she fat or not or out of shape or not, she still wants some attention. And I guarantee you, it's somebody out there that's gonna give it to her. Mm-hmm. And, and it don't matter if you're in shape, ask Aisha Curry. Man, that's all man, man. Finals you her last NBA picture? finals wasn't even good enough for that girl. Did you did y'all see her last photo she posted? She was down there naked. Uh, no, I don't know. But that's oh yeah, she wanted thirst trap, huh? She's doing thirst traps out there like I, her man I, I ain't Steph Curry, bro. I ain't, I ain't trying to get on that one. It's it's women's month. It's no, no, I'm just using that, I'm just using that as an excuse. I'm just using that as an excuse to say, you know, it's on I got, both I got sides feelings of the about court. that situation too. That whole Aisha Curry. Let's wrap, let's wrap hmm. that one. Let's wrap that one. Hmm. So, like I was saying, Meghan Markle, uh, you know, the uh, she married... Um, Prince Harry, Harry, right? Prince, Prince Harry. <laughs> yeah. But I, 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 oh, y'all didn't hear that? Oh, come on, sir. <laughs> it's all went on. Oh, I missed it. I did miss it. I, I didn't it. hear it either. I didn't Good. hear it. Oh, I, I, I froze. I was hoping y'all didn't hear it. I missed it. It wasn't more. It wasn't. Was it more? <laughs> Take a shot. She married Prince Harry. Take a shot. And uh, yeah, that was it. And you know there was a big deal made about it and everything. And I remember like seeing like a they had like a black choir perform at like their at something. Some it's uh, a big deal because Megan from she's from from Compton. Yeah. If I'm not Watts or Compton. Yeah, I don't know. She don't look. She don't. She doesn't. I mean, she barely looks like she's black at all. Yeah, she she yeah, is mixed up. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't know anything about her lineage or whatever. Blame her. Mariah Carey didn't. Act. It's, not gonna, it's not a blame yeah. thing, but she, I'm not blaming. But she is from Compton. Yeah, and or Watts. But of um, so she so she does an interview with Oprah. Is Sherman frozen? He, he um, yeah. yeah, she does an interview with Oprah, and uh, she talks about you know the the inherent like racism and like uh the and how the, yeah and how like the media out in the UK and stuff were being really nasty toward her and racist towards her and sexist towards her, <clears throat> and that she was asking the family to intervene and they wouldn't do it. You know, and then she uh, she was having mental health issues as a result of all that stuff, and she asked them for help, and they wouldn't help her. And then, uh, you know, I guess at some point, you know, like just like a outright racist conversations about you know how their what color skin their child will turn out to be, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So like uh, she's going through all this. Uh, what I thought was really interesting is that that she goes out there and gets involved in this royal fam- family thing, which seems like this really glamorous life, you know. Cinderella these, story, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. She marries a prince or whatever. And then, like, you know, they deal with, you know, you know, uh, state affairs or whatever you want to call it. Mm. And then, no, that's not what happens. They go out there and then they got to deal with the same old shit that you deal with back maybe, home. Like, maybe you don't maybe belong even here. worse. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know. It was a little deeper, too. Yeah. Go ahead, Sean. Go ahead. It was a little deeper, too, because she was saying she was saying that they refused to give the, her son and Harry's son the yeah, same like protection title. and protective detail as yeah. a, a title as part of the royal family. Like mm-hmm. pretty much saying you don't get none of the perks. And, and they really had a problem with that. Like, I don't know. It was, it was, it was weird. Yeah, but I, I don't think it's unfathomable. I mean, like, they, they got a history of, uh, like, isn't America whole started be, because they kicked out, like, the lower-end people from the U.K. to America? Like, they got a history of mistreating people they consider to be lower than them. You are alive. <laughs> <laughs> they, get, they, get, they get the gap. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm like, <clears throat> you alive. People that, that came to the America were... were they, like, they left. Like they fled. Like from it was like their bums, bro. <laughs> They fled from England, though, to escape religious persecution oh, and taxation. God. Here we go with the history, you were like. <laughs> no, they didn't get kicked out. Uh, they left. True. Okay, 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 yes. They didn't. Yes. No, okay, no, okay. no, I want to shot. Okay, okay, yeah, I misspoke. Okay, yes. Okay. I want to shot. Okay, they weren't kicked out. Okay. Whatever. I want to shot. Fuck you. Okay, whatever. <laughs> 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 I guess I, I misspoke. Yes. Hey, hey, y'all got me on thirteen counties last time. That's, that's why I'm doing it. That, that's that's why I'm doing it. I guess we gotta stop talking historical facts because a couple shots in, niggas. Like, no, no, we need to. So that we can iron them out. <laughs> I'm just saying. But no, that they got a history of mistreating people. Like they they wouldn't didn't even want to accept the Morris help. Back with the plague when they couldn't wash the ass and was out here dying at 35. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not surprised. It seems right in line. She seemed like she wanted to go, like Brian said, wanted to go live the fairy tale story over there. Mm-hmm. Thought she was Brandy and Cinderella mm-hmm. and thought she had Whitney Houston with her, but uh, yeah, it's, that's impossible. That's what that is. I think, like, like well, they got like KKK ties, like the grandfather and it, but that's speculation. Not, not only that, because these it. niggas. They had a problem so much with other <laughs> classes and races, nigga, that they was only fucking and reproducing with each other. The royal family is so inbred, nigga. Inbred, yeah. It's incestual. There's a joke in 30 so Rock. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Remember when, I don't know if you watched 30 Rock, but yeah. Pee Wee Herman. I'm not surprised at all. Pee Wee Herman, yeah. <laughs> he plays the, in, the incest kid. <laughs> So I think that wasn't the first, like, she's she's had those, she's made, I don't know if y'all seen, like, earlier years, she's made flights back to the um, America, and they're saying to, un- to unplug and to stuff like that. It's for these reasons that mm-hmm. you're probably talking about. Like, black people have an inherent paranoia when it comes to white people around them, and they don't know what they're talking about. And I'm sure that was her mm-hmm. whole life over there. She was in a room for a bunch of white people that she didn't trust, and they was whispering. And if they wasn't whispering about her, she felt like they was. That can drive you crazy. Mm-hmm. Hell, that she gets dirt, done so dirty over there. Uh, one of the uh, news anchors from Good Morning Britain, nigga, quit on air a whole show because somebody called him out on his biases against Meghan Markle. I'm done with this. No, no, no. Sorry. No. Oh, I, Sorry. So, do you know what? That's pathetic. You can track him, maybe not my No, 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 no. See you later. I'm, I'm being... Si- Sorry. Can't this do this. This is absolutely diabolical behavior. Uh, against her for having personal issues with him because she, he went on a date with her like six years ago or some shit and it didn't work out and he got her a car to go home and the car she took took her to a party where she met prince harry and this nigga has a problem with it so he's been trashing her he's one of the main ones been trashing her the whole the, since the whole marriage and mm-hmm. that nigga quit on air not because she was black though because he was he was a, a spurned lover no Oh, he was defending. He got, he he was got defending, mm-hmm. He was defending. That was the underlying. He was defending the royal family against how they aren't racist and that's ridiculous. And she got brought into this family and now she's trashing them. And his mm-hmm. co-anchor busted him out and said, "Nigga, you really just trashing her because of this. Like yeah. that's why you're doing that. That's why you're defending them instead of uh, uh, hearing what she has to say and type of shit." And he. So I, he said some shit and got up and walked off air, nigga. And then quit That's or got let man. go. One. I, I, I've even seen like the royal family has made quotes. I haven't clicked on them, but they've responded. I, I didn't click on any of them because I, like I said, yeah, I, I totally believe. I, I, I clicked on one. Way. I clicked on one. They were talking about the queen was disappointed 
to hear mm-hmm. or hurt to hear that they had to go through this type of stuff, but they're going to deal with it in the family or some weird shit. See, yeah, I want to hear y'all, that. Y'all know exactly what's going you, on. You, you address how you feel about it, but not address what she said. Oh, that nigga name was Pierce Morgan. The nigga that quit. Sounds like Pierce fucking name. Morgan. Mm-hmm. Pierce Morgan. We'll he put, used to work up. for CNN. Yeah, he just, he just mad he got curved. That's all that is. Not not mm-hmm. necessarily make some racist or anything. He just mad at you know. No, no, no. That, I'm not saying he was. I'm just saying he was using this this situation and the racial connotation, pretty much denying what she said was happening. But it was all stemming from him being rejected. Yeah, that's where it stems from, for sure. Mm. Can we do something? Can we do something that's probably arbitrary? Can we compare racism? Y'all think <laughs> y'all think uh is more racist here or there? Here. Because <clears throat> it's overt? I think here because I, I, I over there, I feel like it's more concentrated once you get to a certain level of class out in, in England, like the royal family and shit. They're they probably got racial ties, but I don't feel like it's ingrained in England's system, in their, like, culture. I don't think it's ingrained in it to the point it is out here. To that point, yeah, classism is more their thing, right? The royal family yeah. and the peasants, right? Like, Yeah, yeah, so yeah if you're white and you're poor, you're just as bad as a black dude over there. Yeah, I can feel you. But black people still feel they get their hardships out there, though. Like, oh, yeah. Niggas ain't really accepted anywhere they go. No, that's the truth. And this global idea of anti-blackness is it's it didn't start with America. That was yeah years I before was America was even thought of. Yeah, uh, that the reason why we're of, here is because of the way we were cheated. They knew we could go get they could go get Africans because ain't nobody protecting mm-hmm. them and then use them as slaves. But is that we are we are a byproduct of a world that already you know put us on the back burner. No, I don't know. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. Did she go to Canada? I believe it was to try to ride things they out. Went to Canada first. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. When they left, and coming back here ain't gonna ain't gonna help too much. You come back here, you gonna see a lot of the same stuff. Mm-hmm. But how I'm big? Say this at the what? risk of being disrespectful. Uh, to I hope it's not taken as disrespect, but nigga. Megan must have some fire. I was going to say the same thing, fire. bro. On um, um, G, I was. I was going to say the same thing. Like, Harry, Harry is willing to up while he's frozen. Well, Harry was willing to uproot his entire life. Everything he's known for this bro. little, for this little, little, little Compton bread <laughs> <laughs> chick. <laughs> Well, that's that's the saying nigga, something though. He he left his whole. He, I don't want to be a prince no more. Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck the family. Fuck the protection. Fuck if, the benefits. If, if the coochie ain't fire, she gotta be one probably one of the dopest individuals yeah. in the history of people. Like she gotta be probably one of the coolest. Like sit and talk hip hop, sit and talk uh, Bridgerton or whatever. Like all like the whole spectrum. Like going through it all. Facts. Do we do we reach a natural ending here? Huh? Brian Mori, Brian is your topic. Mori, y'all got something? Oh man, it's a good topic, man. Keep it going. I don't, I don't know if I got nothing else. Um, all ears. Yeah, I don't have too much else. I just thought it was uh, really interesting that you know, uh, after being married to this man for this long and uh, all this shit going on. All this drama is going on uh, out there, or whatever you know, and you think we got it bad here, and she goes out there and mixes with you know white mm. people, white people, hybrid white people at the highest level, hybrid. and and like, and what do you get? You you get treated a certain way. What you the get same? Treated? The same? You get treated old like shit. dirt. Yeah, you get treated like dirt. What's that say? Was Nick Cannon too wrong? I don't, let me let me not get. <laughs> we ain't got to go down that well, but <laughs> Nick Cannon wasn't wrong. He just said the wrong things. Mm. He said the wrong things for his bosses, for who his bosses were. Oh. But what he said still has, I think it has some truth to it. 
when the coolest people throughout history have been a certain type of person. Mm-hmm. But I ain't one to point fingers. <laughs> <laughs> what you say, anyway. I said what you well, say? The, the cruelest people throughout history have been a certain race of people. But I ain't one to point fingers, and then I pointed fingers. But this nigga, that's what I'm saying. His shit was factual. It was historically factual. Factual. It was it, it wasn't flushed all the way out. It was somebody else's thought. But uh, not a not a not a wrong thing, I don't think. No, we don't have to put our opinions in on it. We read the history books. Read what they yeah. recorded. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. these concepts of, of violence and and all this weird ass demonic shit that they went, that's recorded in their own history. That's them to, this is what they're comfortable telling us that they did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So so you you will never catch me by surprise or, or shock me with what they might not have told us that really goes on. <laughs> Fact though, everything that I find out that I learned, like really, I didn't learn this in school. I believe. It. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I believe. It. Exactly. <laughs> Off top, well, shoot. Let us know, our UK fans, if any of y'all are watching, and let us know, especially if you're black, and even if you're not, maybe you, maybe you got some black friends or you know the experience. We, I, I'm curious. Mm-hmm. I don't know if my brothers. I'm curious about the black experience overseas, UK specific. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know, let us know down in the comments, man. Like, is, is y'all treated like we are? You know, I want to know. <laughs> man, oh, I hate this. Man. Man, let's get back into it, y'all. Man. <laughs> All right, y'all. See another episode. Where you a lie? You a lie? You a lie? <laughs> <laughs> He talked about passes, talking shit about women. For Amen. How they look. Amen. The, the vaccine. The, Amen. The, mm-hmm. And Kremlin <laughs> School, aka Chris, gonna get the vaccine or not, man? We talked about the high school basketball league that they're supposed to. Very start. interesting. Very interesting. And we talked about some royal families and the UK on what's going on out there as far as races and stuff like that. You can catch us on YouTube. Uh huh iTunes, mm-hmm. iTunes down, man, just, just download it, man. I, I'm on there. I listen. I listen at work. Give us the review. I think we got three now. Give us the review. We enjoy it, man. It goes a long way. Let's people know that we're a good podcast. Hit them five stars. It's on Buzzsprout. We got our own Instagram page, y'all. We're gonna get some. Uh, we got our own, you know, the shot glasses. You no, know, we're gonna catch hey. some. Uh, Hey. Coming, coming. And that's and that's the more you one right there. Hey, okay, <laughs> Caroline, man, it's just crazy right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> catches on uh on that tip, and we're gonna be in Cancun. We booking trips. We booking trips for twenty today. Today, some of us already booked, but we going. Some of us already booked. Got the got the swim up sweet and shit, man. So when we 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 gonna do some big things in Cancun and in May. So y'all catch us at uh, another episode of You Alive. Chris, where can we find you at, man? You already know. If you need any of the graphic needs, you need the flyers, business cards, I'm doing web design. Mm-hmm. Holla at me. Okay. Seaboard yeah. Designs. Sir D, uh, Sherm, and where can you catch you at, my brother? You can catch me, your favorite pie head, on all my social media at Sir D. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Snapchat, Facebook, all day just acting up. So hit me. Brian, man, where's you catching up, bro? Uh, you can find me at Your Game Name's Lame on <laughs> Twitch. Your Game Name's Lame. All lower caps, <laughs> no spaces. Or you can uh, catch me at BDana24. Trolling. Trolling? On Twitter. Trolling? Need that troll. We looking for that troll, y'all. Come on. Get on him. We got Josh underscore Will 15 on a snap. I mean, shoot, females making $150,000 on this OnlyFans, so I need well, to stop playing and make me a little something. Well, you about to put your toes I'm on that? Right? <laughs> so, so, man, but shoot, y'all. I'm showing all back necks, yeah, the, no, the back of my neck no, on all man. my OnlyFans. You dress, you dress up as a sexy <laughs> devil. But she will catch us on next week. You will lie. We'll catch y'all next week, y'all. Have a good one. You will lie. You will lie. You will lie. You will lie.